the time of Erica's death, um, there were only two psychiatrists work, working in the public space myself and a senior colleague called Dr. Sekai Niwatiwa, who's now late. Um, so when we talk about 12 psychiatrists, which is uh, slightly more at the moment, I think we're looking at about 16. It's really within in the last couple of years, which still is not sufficient for a country like um, like Zimbabwe. Um, and, so, and so it was really about um, trying to find a way of narrowing what we call the care gap within global mental health. How do I ensure that as many people as possible have access to evidence-based care in their community? Uh, and, and that's where the whole idea of you know, training grandmothers, because grandmothers are a resource in African communities that is readily available. You know, they are the custodians of um, local um, wisdom and knowledge and they are rooted in their communities. And, and so the whole idea of empowering these grandmothers and getting these grandmothers to sit on a park bench in, a, in as many communities as possible, enabling people like Eric, like Erica, to actually find someone to talk to and not have to go to a, a hospital was really my main objective when I started the whole idea of, uh, of Friendship Bench.